What's going on, fishing freaks? Out here with Lunkers TV today. Gonna do a little adventurous outdoor fishing, and this video is sponsored by War Robots. We'll get to that here later today, but we are gonna be out in the woods where uh, we brought my two-wheel drive truck, which is always a bad idea. <laughs> Lunkers probably should have brought his, but uh, it's in the shop right now. Where are you at, Outlaw? Uh, what are you doing? Outlaw Repair Shop. Uh, get back at it. Uh, so uh, we're, we're gonna go figure out what's going on here. We literally just rolled up and uh, we're gonna go check out the waters and see what's going on. Well, already starting off on a uh, interesting note here. It's real windy and uh, that's our vessel right there. All right, let's see. Well, that's gonna piss it off, whatever's in there. You know what? <laughs> Whoa, 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 big old whoa, snake! Whoa. Big old snake! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I knew it was gonna be in there. I knew it! I knew it! Still scared you. Damn, I knew it! What kind of snake was it? I'll be honest, I didn't even see it. I was just filming. Oh, no, what I kind saw. of snake was it? I have no clue. Do you want to have another look? <laughs> That's our boat, man. We gotta get in there. <laughs> this is gonna be dark. We're going we're going back to uh, primitive man thinking. Dangerous animal under there. We need objects. I don't, I don't have. I, don't, can't I just don't want it to be like a rattlesnake or something, I don't dude. Know what it is. It's big. Why couldn't it be at the very back? You were, yeah, you were on the bad end of that. Here's here's what I've always been taught about doing this: is you want to try to lift the objects uh, away from you, so then you have something to shield yourself. You know what I'm saying? But this boat is too big. Like it's a giant boat. If we picked it up like this where we had the boat to defend ourselves what if it's just a big rat snake i still don't want to want it to bite me i mean how big do you think it was three foot three foot no, no. big enough to grab your toe it could be a, it could be a hive of snakes in here I just don't know what if i that's what i was originally trying to do right there what you're doing i couldn't tie it up got Hold it, you got just for a second. Okay, yeah, we got this now. We got this. Come in at a low angle. Put, 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 put. Teamwork, okay? Teamwork makes it easy. What if it's not a harmless, what if it's a harmless snake? If it's a harmless snake, we'll let it go. But if it's like a dangerous snake, it doesn't need to be here. Yeah, here we go. And they're, uh, we're gonna, oh, no, 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 lift up. There he is. Oh, yeah! Hey, baby! It? Okay, where did he go? Let's try to find if we can. There he is. Okay, he's got the yellow belly. It's the yellow belly. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, he's coming back at me. All right. Okay. What kind is he? Uh, I don't know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Rackley. I hear him. Oh, my there, gosh. oh, he's coming at me. He's coming at me. Oh, look at that bite. Oh, my God, he's biting it. What do I do? I... Oh, he's making noises. Dude. His head's coming out. Oh, dang, dude. Slippery. No! Western cottonmouth. No way. No, it's not. No. It's way too long. I know one thing. It likes John boats. I want to just try to shoo it away, but it really wants to stay next to this boat. So I'll grab, I can pin it down with this. And then, uh, Here, I, got I think I got him. I'm almost certain he's going to bite me if he comes out. I lifted him up. These things can really turn on their bodies. I feel like Steve Irwin right now. Come on, you got this. I got the thing up. This is a really heavy boat. Whoa, baby! There he is. Now, sir, we just want you to go that way, kindly. Don't go under the boat, please. Don't go under the boat. Don't go under the boat. Get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. And he's going under the boat again. Okay, just gonna drag him away. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, you got this. Just don't let go of his tail. That's pretty much it. You got all of his tail. Now, there we go. Come here, buddy. Just gonna take you over to a nice little stretch where all the mouses live. <laughs> just, just come with me. Just come with me now. That's a nice snake. There you go, boy. Now go be free. See ya. All right. Have a good day. That's a long snake, Rob. Yeah. Turkla. Would you like to battle me in bots while the bite sucks? 
the robot jumps. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, dude, kill that guy. Kill Jason, take Jason out. Oh, coming from behind! Oh, I need to get out of the open there, Oh, I got him. Got him. Got him. I'm about to get Missiles this away! Nope. nope, this guy's done. Oh, reload! I jump! Jump! Go, 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 go! Oh, that's more robots. So in War Robots, you got a ton of different map selections, you got a ton of different robots, you can upgrade them. Each robot has its own characteristics and personalities, kind of like different fishing techniques. And there are no paywalls and no ads. So you just get on there, click, 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 bang, 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 don't have to worry about a thing. So go down there and click the link in the description and you can download the game for free and then you get free upgrades and bonuses to go along with that. So maybe you can upgrade enough in time to uh, go play me in uh, Lunkers TV here, but we're already being upgraded as we speak. We're already pretty good. Skill levels are getting higher. Battle yeah. me. Battle him. Thanks again to War Robots for making this video happen. Now let's get back to the fishing action. All right, ladies and gents, me and Lunkers are doing an odd lure challenge today. Lunkers is actually throwing the savage duck right in front of me. We've got an assortment of odd baits. We have no paddle, obviously. <laughs> and after fighting off the snakes, we're finally out here on the water. Actually, I'm just gondola, gondola styling uh, lunkers as he throws the duck around right now. Our goal is to get the other end of this lake in Italian fashion. A bit more and see if we see any tucked in up around these trees in the shade. I'm gonna engage the first odd lure. Now the banjo minnow has been around for a while. Everyone knows that. It's been a long time since I've thrown a banjo. Don't have as much action as I remember. Oh, I already got one. I already got one. Got him. First cast with the banjo. Oh my gosh, that didn't take long. Okay, the banjo performs. Look at that, throwback. Hashtag throwback to the banjo. You guys remember that commercial? Brings me back to eating cereal in my underoos. Certified to me. Oh goodness. Rob's got a giant worm. I've got a uh, abnormally large frog. We've got the uh, duck. And uh, what else is on the menu? You got a banjo as well. Well, I can already tell you, fish freaks, it's going to be a difficult uh, challenge here, having very little boat control, and uh, there's a lot of grass. Pretty much catching grass every time. Banjo mano. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all my northern fishing freaks. I'm happily married, but if I had to date a girl with one of those accents, I may not be able to handle it. What about you, Rob? Another lure I've never thrown is uh, this bully wah, the enlarged size frog. Ooh, this frog walks very well. Kind of looks like that uh, snake we saw earlier. A little yellow belly action. I was literally just, just telling Rob, like I'm just gonna make a random cast out in the middle. So I'm casting around the bank and I just got another bite. Second bite on the banjo. Nice healthy fish, my gosh, look at him. He's a fat little, little guy. No idea what we're fishing out here. That was a totally random cast. When they see that banjo coming at them, they're like, oh man, dead shad. Oh, it's dying. I saw that 1-800 commercial. I gotta have it. We got, uh, we got a couple trees here. We're starting to get a little water depth. This could be good vibrations. Ooh, that's a better fish. Found a fish. There we go. Heck yeah! 
Ooh, nice dark, go, dark nice. bass. Tasty with the, with the, uh, tasty with a T. Progress report so far. We've boated three largemouth bass, two on the banjo, one on a gig. I'm pretty much just like holding us here with this pushy pole. When we get in a good little juicy area, I'm just sticking this thing in the ground. Pretty hard to fish. That's why it's a, uh, it's a challenge. It's fun. It's been a while since I fished out of a John boat. It's pretty fun. Lunkers is having a good time too. In case we sink, he's got a good chartreuse lunker shirt on. That way uh, somebody can find us in case we go down. But so far, everything's holding up. Plugs holding up good. There's pontoon over there. Something happened to that. I'm not sure somebody had a bad day on that thing. I think I'm gonna, woo, my arm's getting tired by the way. <laughs> Thumbs up, give me some extra power. Charge me up. I think I'm going to uh, continue with the banjo for a little bit and then I'm gonna switch to a big old lizard. I'm just feeling like a big old lizard. I haven't thrown one of those in many years. So uh, I'm gonna give that a shot, switch it up, see what happens. By the way guys, if you're looking for banjo minnow rigging tips, you know, those hooks that come with the, uh, the kit are a little, uh, a little crusty. So I have modified my own one-aught uh, straight shank owner hook right there. Put a 45-degree uh, bend in the front, put a snell knot in it. Um, I increased the gap on it by uh, four millimeters just to give it uh, the exact width of the, uh, the banjo body itself. And I have to say, it is a significantly better hook and it's black nickel, so it shows up uh, less in the water. So, 16 pound fluorocarbon line on the big sexy heavy. That's what we're doing. Seems to be working good. Rob's got one on the banjo. Yeah, baby. Oh man, there we go. There you go. The banjo. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my leg i'm just gonna go indian style kind of this is how this is how you do power power pole yeah right there by the boat oh banjo minnow as soon as i put the power pole down dude just dude, spot lock rack, rack is over there just getting got it done got another one on the banjo no but he's a he's a banjo fish i would stand up but my leg is wrapped around our power pole here Nice, beautiful, dark bass. Always like getting them on a single hook like that. They almost never come off. Always oh, missing a little spine action. Still pretty though. I guess I'll give you a smell, buddy. Oh, man, this fish this smells really, really good. Go back in that dark water to your friends. Well, the banjo has produced, I think between me and Rob, we've, we've caught at least a half a dozen fish. Oh, I got another one. Oh, Rob, it's a good one. Watch out. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. What did you just happen right there? Dude, did you just grab my line mid cast? You put, that was like a basketball move. I had to get it, I had to sweep it, I had to sweep it in action. That's a good fish, dude. Dude, it's nice. Oh gosh, don't fall, don't fall. Oh man, there we go. Guys, if you missed that, Rob, like, my line was going over the side of the boat. He goes down, grabs it, and lifts it over his head like, like he's done it before. That was good moves. And Rob just got bit on the 16-inch uh, the worm. So let me get old Steve unhooked here. Here we go. See you, Steve. I'm not sure why I named you Steve, but that was fun. That was like a dual catch from, from Rob as well. Oh, 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 yeah! One last jump. All right, yeah, I'm cramping up, dude. Gramping up, I'm gonna let you take over the uh, the command here on the pole, the pole command. I think I'm gonna tie on my big lizard, maybe try to get a big bite since you're getting bites on that big worm. This is literally what we're dealing with here. Uh, this is this is position I've been sitting in for about 30 minutes. Rob is now taking over the pole command. He's got a, uh, I, I hate to say it, but it, that pole is called a stiffy pole. Uh, wrapped around his leg. It's a uh, carbon fiber push pull designed for doing exactly what we got going on here. So uh, it's keeping us nice and stable. We're taking turns. I got some big lizards that I've been wanting to try. Rob had a big bite a while ago on that huge worm. So uh, 
gonna give this a shot. New rigging, 3 16 ounce tungsten weight. Again, I'm using that 16 pound fluorocarbon line, heavy action, big sexy, and I've got a four aught offset worm hook. They call it a magnum lizard. Hope it catches a magnum bass. We'll see what she does out there in the depths. Well, I was a genius. Hit the stop record button on my uh, GoPro, apologize. You just gotta trust me that I just hooked this one. You know what, I actually did not legally catch him though. Got him in the, the underness of his mouth. But he was dick, he was, uh, he was tickling it, so. Pretty little stripes on this guy. In case you were wondering, this color is called Blue Fleck. I'm not sure if uh, any of you would even be interested in a link to uh, purchase these odd lures today. But uh, if so, let me know in the comments. I will uh, try to go back and, and dig something up here. Banjo minnows are hard to come by though. Oh, there's one. Oh, God. Did you see that? Dude, he knocked the, he knocked slack in my line. Oh, another small one. Hey, hello. How you doing? Hello. Hey. Oh, guys, flip me right in the face. Oh, gosh, See all that mud on the tail right there, guys? It's literally just clay. It's either clay or it's doo-doo. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's clay. Look at that dark colored fin right there. Here's what we're gonna try now. Found this in my little odd tackle box. I think this is called a mud puppy. I'm not sure. It's like a weird headed Cinco looking polywog thing. And I want to say that supposedly this head design is supposed to make it like come upwards in the water. I don't know. I want you guys to just take a gander at that right there. I mean, what the heck is going on? If that isn't odd, I don't know what it is. It's got this tail flippy thing. This thing's actually pretty heavy. You tie your line like on top of the bait. It's got these like space gray pinchers going on not sure the uh the story on that uh but i'm gonna give that a shot because uh i've caught caught a fish on pretty much everything else just need to catch one on the uh i don't know, I don't know what you call this the uh the reticulating craw or something working on oh i think i got a bite oh did you see the boil no, i do see the boil where's that grass Oh, it is a fish. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. He was just coming at me. Oh, he slung my... Oh! Well, there's another odd lure catch. That was almost like a topwater bite. Saw him boil right behind it. Came up and just... Boom, got it. I want you guys to just take a gander at that right there. I mean, what the heck is going on? If that isn't odd, I don't know what it is. It's got this tail flippy thing. This thing's actually pretty heavy. You tie your line like on top of the bait. It's got these like space gray pinchers going on. I'm not sure the, uh, the story on that. Uh, but I'm going to give that a shot because uh, I've caught caught a fish on pretty much everything else. Just need to catch one on the, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you call this, the, uh, the reticulating craw or something. No idea what this is going to do in the water. This thing just looks like a Christmas ornament, basically. I mean, what the heck does that even do? It's so strange. What does it even do? Is that, am I tying my line in the right area? What is this nonsense? Well, you can cast it a long way. Dude, I got a fish! No. First cast. Got him. Oh, wait a minute. It's grass. I honestly think that um, this is like a joke. 
Like when you buy this, there's, I'm, I gotta go back and see. I think there might be a card in there that says you've just been punked or something. Cause uh, that, that just, just straight up does nothing in the water except spin and roll over and I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm honestly, I've never seen a lure suck this bad. Okay, I, I think I came up with like maybe uh, a way you could fish this. And it's basically just like you pitch it, like you just pitch it like under a dock or something and let it just free float down. I hate to bash this so bad, but it, it's just bad. It's like a McDonald's Happy Meal that got squished in the plant and, you know, kid got it and he's crying to his mom because he's not sure what it's supposed to do. And it's, there's just a lot of bad things going on with it. Oh, I have one. It is a little one. Yeah, that's what's going on down there. Oh, hey, hello and goodbye. I've taken Rob's suggestion and put on the purple banjo. I, that straight up looks like something off Finding Nemo, dude. You wanna call this puppy good? Yeah, you wanna help me get this undone? I think so. It's been a fun day out here um, with the, the odd lures, the snakes, uh, throwing it back to the banjo minnow. Man, that just brings back good memories. Let me know in the comments if you remember the original commercials of the Banjo Minnow um, because they're absolutely hilarious when you go back and watch that. I feel like we should do a spoof on that one of these days um, for something else. Uh, I think that'd be quite hilarious. I'd like to thank my partner in crime, Lunkers TV, for making this adventure possible today. And uh, we'll thank the War Robots as well for, for uh, for powering th this trip guys and i want to especially thank you for watching all the videos lately you guys have been awesome go watch lunkers videos um subscribe to our channels and thank you guys for coming along for this adventure we'll see you on the next one later